Hey everybody, and welcome to another video. I saw that we had a few new subscribers over the past week, so welcome, welcome everybody. Thank you for subscribing to my channel. Today's video is the part two of the pig butchering at the Holler Homestead. So Nicole was nice enough to let me record this. Part one showed us cleaning the pigs and prepping them for butchering. And this part, yet again, is our friend Autofab visiting and doing the butchering and explaining as he goes. So with that said, I hope you enjoy the video. I do apologize that the light's a little bit low. It was getting pretty late before we even started butchering the first one. We added some lights, but didn't do a whole lot. So I do ask apologies on that one. Enjoy the video. Not sure if you know this or not, but there's actually another great website for videos that doesn't deal with a lot of the censorship that you deal with on YouTube. If you're interested and it's a favor to me, please go over to odyssey.com and subscribe to my channel there as well. Uh, you'll find the link in the description below. Thanks. This is just your leaf fat. This is the most neutral of all fats. They use it for like making pie crust and cookies and all that kind of good shit. So there's different fat on the pig itself? Well, this is the fat that like surrounds the kidneys and okay. all that stuff. So like when you render it down in the lard, this is like, you want us to do this separate from like the back fat because this is more neutral. Tenderloin? This is your tenderloin. No anesthetics, just give them a towel. That's separating your roast from your ribs? Yeah. 
Well, this is the back primal here. So that'll have a hock, a ham, and we can get some roast and steaks, stuff like that off this half up here. Cool. Got a loin and a slab of bacon. Damn, it's gotta be like ten what ten pounds of bacon right there? Easy. At twenty dollars a pound. That's what Walmart wants for that shit right now. And this ain't Walmart shit, so you like $50 a pound. It's like $5,000 worth of bacon right there. Good math there, buddy. 500 bucks. <laughs> <laughs> and then, come along here, because I got ribs there. You're gonna cut them aside. How thick do you want your bacon? How thick do you want your fucking ribs? Sounds like they're back. And we'll just peel this slab of bacon. It's a slab of bacon with part of a rib bone. Bone in bacon sucks for a little bit. That's $20,000 worth of bacon <laughs> right here. Cutting that out is going to be a full time job. What? He's working at it.
No, I'm good at the moment. Out here. I'll bring one out. Well, that's why I move. Five halves left. Two, three, four, five. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Maybe forty-five minutes each. Four hours. Well, I mean, unless I start getting fancy with shit, and I like to start getting fancy with shit and do shit like um, we might give her a French track of uh, a French loin there, so I can take it. And you got the rib bones coming up through here, mm -hmm. and I'll cut it down to about here and strip all the meat off so you have just the bones sticking up and then it'll be a standing french roast. I've done a couple of those and they turn out lovely. Very fancy. I might do that on this one. That works pretty good. Is that all ribs? That's not all rib. Your, your front pieces? This is the loin right yeah. here. Yeah. loin is your pork chops or your loin. You gotta decide, you can't have both. You can have one or you can have the other. Uh -oh. we're, getting, we're getting fancy. Staying in French for French for a brace. Stick that back on this. Ice it. Yeah. Okay. It's not that cold. No, I wasn't worried about that. <laughs> okay. Um, you want to put that in the gray? Oh, you're not going to. Package that. He wants that. He's gonna French it. I'm not done with it. Oh, okay. We're, we're gonna get it? fancy with that one. Oh, <laughs> well, let's not get fancy. We got like two more pigs to do. That one looks good for it. Okay, so I'm told. With the diffuser, that light doesn't do shit. <laughs> nice. Across here, you take this hock off. There's a straight cut, but obviously not right there. Can I help you close the ducts? Yeah, they're all down in the area, I think. More of a straight cut right here. They were down there a few minutes ago when I was down there. You should have got this cut on the first one because I nailed that shit. Hard to get inside them leg joints. What kind of music I should put to this?
It's gonna be some smooth jazz. It's just playing on my radio. Let the body hit the floor. <laughs> no, no name brand stuff. I get it off from oh, yeah. the yeah. free free website. So like, you have to give the guy credit, but he only has a limited selection. And the better stuff, of course, you gotta pay for. So. But anyway, he's got a bunch of like smooth jazz and like retro jazz that are all free. I might be able to do thirty seconds. And let the body hit the floor before you shoot. But I think, I think I'm going to put that piece in there because the pig takes off. It doesn't look very good. Come on. Those are considered pretty shitty meat, right? The ham hocks. I fucking love them. Really? They're not like stew pot kind of cut? I mean, kind of, but I mean, they're still fucking delicious. You got the breastbone right there. If you hit the right spot. fucking bone with your Roman because that motherfucker knows how to make knives and kids <laughs> <laughs> it's a true story certainly ain't lacking in the kids department that's for sure That did. Sausage. Ever watch the bearded butchers? Just go watch them. They're pretty good. Yeah, there's some dudes that have some really fancy, fancy meat stuff on TV on uh, YouTube. Yeah. Yeah, they're good. It's like, so this is how you'd process this. Let's move this one in there, this one over to here, start cutting this one up, breaking it down, setting it on this table. When they come back, they'll be like, holy shit, y'all already got one done and you're working on the <laughs> second half? <laughs> Did you guys get the bags out pretty easy? We got them out. Mm, okay. They're next, on the next ground time. at the recycle center. <laughs> Next time, one bag per pig. <laughs> that's all we. That's all we did on those. Two. No, two pigs per bag. No, I put yeah. one head in that one, and I put one head in that one, and then there was a head in the bin, 
There's and then there's a fourth bag. But the internals, it was two pigs in a bag. Yeah, and then the next pig, it was, or the next pair, it was two pigs in a bag. Yeah. And then all the white shit was like broke up between a dozen different bags or something. That, that, that one bag was, that one bag was heavy. I mean, is it just kind of back in and toss out kind of deal? No, you gotta go up about four steps and heave it up over the side mm. of the dumpster. That sucks. Yeah. Got it done, but yeah, it was not, um... Not ideal? Not ideal. Definitely not ideal. Need a boom. <laughs> Ah, my finger! Glad we got that on videotape. <laughs> the ribs. I need a little bit of cleaning up on them, but it's ribs. So you actually watched some kind of, you got some kind of video you, you referenced for doing this? You were saying? I can send you a link to it. I mean, I don't I don't have any pigs, so I'm not going to be doing this anytime I mean, it's soon. It's still good to watch. Mm -hmm. I watch it for entertainment. Yeah. Shoot, shoot, shoot me the link. I'll sit down. Yeah, Nicole's got it. I can send you a link to it. Yeah. I mean, it's on YouTube. Uh, bon Appetit and pigs. More bacon. Okay. I'm not sure if I've seen that one. This is the bottom of this loin here. And the shoulder. Cool. That entire thing's a shoulder. Well, this makes me come out of it. <laughs> 